Welcome back. In this video, we'll be showing you the ins and outs of your online fundraising portal. To start, go to go.osu.edu slash bt. So now that you're registered, you can go to go.osu.edu slash bt, and that will take you to the online fundraising portal. Here you can log in, and once you've logged in, you'll see this button here that says Participant Center. You can click on that, and it'll take you to a new page where the first thing you'll see is a quick overview of how you're engaging with the dance marathon movement. It tells you how much you've raised so far, the goal that you're trying to reach, what percentage that is of your goal, and how many days are left until the dance marathon. This is a helpful quick summary in case you just need to know where you're at at the moment. If you click on the next tab, the email tab, this is where we make it really easy for you to make email asks for donations. Now let's say for example you want to ask one of your professors to donate. You could click under the solicitation, ask for donations, and go on to the next one and here you'll see what that pre-written email looks like. Now our advice is to add another small paragraph somewhere here that says a little bit more about why you personally joined this movement. That way it seems extra genuine. So I might add a sentence here about how I got involved because I loved how people can come together to do good for others. Now if you want it to have a personalized greeting, you'll have to delete this section here and click this button that says Include Personalized Greeting. And I'll show you what exactly that means on the next page. You can also adjust your subject line here should you want to make a change. Now this is where that personalization comes in. You can see here I've already asked quite a few people in the past few years to donate on my behalf. So once you're a second, third, or fourth year team member, you'll be able to see all of this information here from past years. And let's say, for example, I want to ask the advisor of Buckeye Thon to make a donation on my behalf. His name is Felix. I would add Felix there. And now, because I selected the box on the previous Compose page that says Include Personalized Greeting, now that I've included Felix, it'll say, Hello, Felix, when he gets the email. That, again, makes him feel more personalized, and he's more likely to make a donation. Now you can go to the preview and send page. So it'll show you a quick summary of what it'll look like and then you can hit send and Felix in this case would get that email and he would have a link here at the bottom that allows him to go directly to my fundraising page and make a donation on my behalf for the kids. That's how easy it is. Now another thing you can do is go to your personal page here and adjust how it looks to the public. So for example this is what mine looks like if I were to search it up. We'll search for Imran and that's my page. This is what it looks like. It has a little bit of a personalized story of why I got involved with Buckeye Thon and what motivates me to fundraise for the kids. And it also has a picture of me here along with a couple of my friends in Buckeye Thon's general body. Now if you want to change the way it looks to the public like mine, you can go back to your participant center change the wording here, and you can add a photo here where it says photos and video. Now you know the ins and outs of your online fundraising portal and you're ready to fundraise for the kids. In the next few videos, we'll show you exactly how to use various techniques to fundraise in ways that our past team members have used to raise hundreds, even thousands of dollars. You're well on your way to making sure that every kid can grow up to be a Buckeye.